everybody, today I'm going to be doing a book review on Royce Rules by Margaret Stoll. This book was so much fun, but before I get into this review, it'll be spoiler free, but let me explain to you what this book is all about. So this book revolves around a girl named Bentley Royce, and she is a part of a reality show that focuses on her family called Rolling with the Royces. She has a narcissistic sister, a media-obsessed mother, and a gambling addict brother. And the thing is, reality shows are not all that they are hyped up to be, and she knows that for hand so she wants out and luckily the next season of the reality show has not yet been confirmed so there may be a way out to freedom but her family life begins to crumble and one fateful night she is in the car and kind of goes over a cliff on the day that her sister was supposed to get married and that's when things start to get real okay so I'm not all about the reality TV show life I don't watch too much TV I don't even own a television but I have watched a few episodes of keeping up with the Kardashians to know what reality shows Shows have in store for us. But honestly, a lot of reality TV shows aren't what they seem because this is all that they want you to see. They don't show what's behind the scenes and what happens when the cameras aren't rolling. And that's why I really, really loved Royce Rolls because it kind of showed you the opposite side of this glamorous world. Bentley was a very awesome character. I didn't expect that I would really love her as much as I did, but I loved her sarcasm, her wit, but also the feelings that she was feeling throughout the whole entire novel because I understood them to a certain extent because Margaret Stoll really put you in her place and really showed you what it would be like to have a reality show and be famous and kind of have all that looming over you when you are just 16 years old. A huge part of this novel was her family and what they were all about and I really did enjoy her family as side characters. I thought that they added a lot to this novel just because you don't really see families in books as often as you should. And it was also really cool because this family is not like your family next door. Not at all. Well because they are in a reality TV show and their lives are very posed. And one of the main aspects of this novel that I really enjoyed that was not necessarily that had to do with the writing which I did enjoy as well but the actual layout of this novel and I guess that has to do with the writing too but the way that Margaret laid out this whole entire novel was really cool because it gave you an inside look at the reality TV show world and there were just cool pages where they were like oh what the production team said oh what the makeup artist said and they would just like give you a backstage look as to what goes on in reality TV shows when you know, the cameras aren't rolling. Like there were little notes at the end of the pages and it was really interesting to see that because it was kind of like you're reading it from a reality TV show perspective, but with a little extra added in. Honestly, I did not think that I would love this novel as much as I did. I did really like it. I really liked how it was something fresh and new that I have not seen before in literature, especially young adult literature in the past year or two. And that was really fun because I don't normally read this type of book, but I'm really grateful that we are working with Disney books on this book for the Priestopia book club because it got me into this genre that I never thought I would get into. So thank you so much Disney Books for sponsoring this book for the book club because I am so grateful that we got to do it. All in all, I would give this book a 4 out of 5 stars. I really did enjoy it and recommend it to people who like reality TV shows and like me who don't really watch them but want to know more about them, especially from a literary perspective. If you want to check out Royce Rolls, I'll be linking it down below so don't forget to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next Next time, bye. Can't find some sunglasses. Because that's what makes you you famous. You was famous if you wear sunglasses. It's a part of the famous rule book. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh my gosh. Wear my bougie sunglasses from Target. Yeah. Want to take my picture, paparazzi? No. Okay. Cool. I'd probably break your lens.